would you, would you have any advice? Because in, in the book you talk a lot about how important the relationship is between a son and their mum and how being a mummy's boy is OK. I mean, my children are 10 and 5 and couldn't think of anything worse than labelling themselves as mummy's boys. But oh, it's an insult. I know. Yeah. So how do you get around that? And what is your advice to you mums, do, single parents raising... Do, oh, it's an advice question. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, parenting is, is, is a terrible idea. I mean, who would, who would be a parent? But it's... Um, I, I, with, the, with the girls, in terms of the gender stuff, with the girls, you know, we've tried to give them as many options as possible. And anybody who says, oh, girls can't do football or girls can't do karate, well, no, that's... They're yeah. going to find... That our girls are going to have an opinion about that. Yeah. And I'd like to think that if we'd had boys then and they wanted to do ballet or flower arranging, that that would be fine for them as well. And, of course, the girls, you know, they, they like dressing up in, in frilly dresses as well and they like dancing as well. And it's just a question of trying to present as many of those We're options as you can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Robert, thank you so much. We could clearly talk thank to you, you all day and we just can't. But the, the book is out now in paperback, How Not to Be a Boy. Uh, J.K. Rowling described it as quite simply brilliant. So if that's what she says, I mean, it doesn't get much better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.